So parenting tip number 97 is something that I struggle with, and it's the importance of decluttering. Physical decluttering is so important to teach your kids as well as decluttering negative mindsets. Otherwise, when we grow up, we continue to choose thoughts that don't serve us. A lot of doubts, a lot of worries, a lot of fears are chosen thoughts, but we just automatically feel them and we believe them and it often results in setbacks. So I wanted to read you this card. There are 48 cards from the Soulful Woman card deck that one of my students' parents gave me. And this card is called Self Renewal. I love to, and this is the mindset, right? Because it oftentimes is a chore that we dread. I hate decluttering because I don't know whether I I'm emotionally attached. I'm emotionally attached to workbooks, believe it or not, any educational material because I don't know when I'm going to use it or I'm sentimental, right? You keep things from vacations or you keep drawings that your kids have created for you decades ago, but you have a hard time. I have a hard time letting go of birthday cards, of cards that my friends give me. So it's a mindset of enjoying, right? decluttering your life to cleanse and to purify your home. You benefit from cleaning out your drawers, your closets, your mind, and you let go of things that no longer work for you. And you find ways to create closure. I took pictures of my dad's bowling trophies and then I decided to trash them. It felt very weird and uncomfortable to throw away trophies, but when you think about it, what am I going to do with trophies, right? But now that we can take pictures of things, keep pictures of the actual item, and then you really don't need to keep them. But that is a very hard thing to do sometimes. Decluttering becomes a sacred practice and teach this to your kids so they know to declutter not only how to, but you give them the power to choose what to keep, right? And you have to make sure that it's okay for you. But sometimes it's emotionally important for us, but not to them, right? So you have to give them permission to throw away things that they no longer need or want and ask them, you can keep 10 items, or you need to get rid of 15. Come up with a number. They get to either put it in the donation box or they need to keep it in the, you know, I need to keep this. And then maybe a third box can be, I'm not sure yet, but at least you make sure that there are things that go in the donation box or the trash box, right? And you'll find old papers from school or literally like trash that they don't need containers, receipts, right? We've all gone through things that we are shocked that we still have. My dad kept every instruction manual for every appliance decades prior to even, you know, he he just did not throw anything away. I found old Zippy's containers. Those of you who are here locally in Hawaii know that Remember decades ago, the Zippy's logo, which is a local fast food restaurant, had orange squares. My parents kept foam containers. My parents kept containers of every jars, paper plates. I mean, it's it's really hard to imagine why we keep these things. A lot of times there's a psychological connection. But really allow your intuition and teach your kids the power of using their intuition. Do they really, really need to keep this? It's a skill to practice. What do they want to keep? What are they way, uh, you know, willing to let go? And let them just say this. As I clean out old energies and throw away old things, you leave more space for that which needs or will you'll benefit from. So we have a rule, well, my husband, Thomas, came up with this rule that every purse or bag or pair of shoes that we get, we have to donate or get rid of. And that way you're not left with 500 pairs of shoes, right? And even stuffed animals. When Sabrina was little, it's like, okay, which stuffed animal are you willing to donate to make room for the new stuffed animal or the new toy? So it's something that I thought was worthy of recording a parenting tip because 
who teaches their children to declutter or do you do the decluttering for them, right? And you decide to trash or donate whatever outfits, whatever clothes, but it's a thing that you can delegate. It's definitely a task that should be delegated and a task that kids should learn so that when they grow up, they won't keep, you know, 500 pairs of shoes and 200 bags that you accumulate over the decades of your shopping sprees or even birthday gifts that you get that you've had for 15 years and never wore the shirt or blouse, never um, used the item. So that's my parenting tip number 97, the importance of teaching your child to declutter. And remember now, it's not just decluttering physical items, but also decluttering and throwing away thoughts, bad habits, anything that doesn't serve you. Thanks for watching. Bye.